Hi everyone, I'm Sean Gorman from Pixelate, and today I want to talk about a problem I've seen challenging the OpenStreetMap community over the past decade, and that's access to high-resolution imagery for editing OpenStreetMap. Um, having spent a good number of years at a satellite imagery company and also spent several years working with aerial imagery, one of the big challenges is getting access to this imagery in a timely manner to get the most up-to-date edits within OpenStreetMap. And while the contributions from folks like Maxar and Mapbox and Esri and Microsoft are all fabulous and do huge benefit to the community. Getting that imagery in a timely manner to where it's really up to date and its freshest form is incredibly challenging, both for the community and from the companies. And so what we want to talk about today is how we can break that loggerhead by allowing you to go and create your own imagery to trace with. Just using an action camera in your pocket to go and collect stuff without a drone, just walk around, bike, collect that footage and turn it into a 2D map that you can trace. But first, a little background on, on what enables that, and that's a complementary project called uh, Pixelate, where, uh, where I work at. And we're trying to build a crowdsource 3D map of the globe. And the way we do that is go and take commodity videos from phones and action cameras and vehicles and combine that with open overhead imagery like open aerial LIDAR from the US Geological Survey or DEFRA in the UK and blend those together to create these really high level of detail 3D models of the globe and take a whole bunch of models collected by different people collecting um, video all over the globe and stitching it together into one continuous model of the globe and filling that all in. And then from there we can do cool things like semantic classification of the data to pull out specific objects that we want to map on the earth and do a variety of different functions and features within that. So obviously one of the big challenges in this is that the data is in 3D. These are point clouds in three-dimensional space and in OpenStreetMap we edit in a two-dimensional editor like ID or JOSM. Uh, and so to be able to do that we need to take these um, 3D uh, data sets and turn them into 2D. Uh, fortunately there's a really awesome uh, open source library called PDAL or Poodle that allows you to manage your point clouds and do really cool things with them and one of the features within that is being able to turn a 3D point cloud or like an entwine uh, data set into a 2D geotiff. And so you can compress all those 3D pixels into a cool two-dimensional rendering, which we see here. Um, and we can even clean up some of these sky points we see with the semantic segmentation. Uh, and then we can go and take that, turn it into a tile, and load it into ID or JOSM or QGIS and begin working with it. Uh, so here we can see going in and, uh, and adding in one of these... Uh, uh, tiles into ID, just load in the tile set, drop it in, and there we see it lines up really nicely with the existing buildings. We can see nice details of the roads and curbs and lane markings and things along those lines, which puts us in a really nice spot to then go do mapping. Uh, so if we pop out of this and look at the uh, just the raw image without it being in the, uh, with the edits on top of it, we can see a lot of those nice details sitting within the map. Um, and then when we, when we line up the OSM edits, they pop in really nicely. So that means if I did raw new edits from this, let's imagine that there was no OpenStreetMap Street edits right now, I'd have a really nice, well-aligned data set that I could then import. And the great thing in this is we didn't need imagery from, from anybody. We just went out and created our own overhead imagery, ironically using imagery collected on the ground with just an action camera, in this case a GoPro 360 Max. Um, so we really think this will open up the ability for anybody to go out and create their own imagery to trace and edit with. Um, and they can get the most freshest, up-to-date imagery of an area because it's, you can get it as soon as you collect it and load it up and then start editing. Um, other great thing is all this data is uh, under an open data license. Um, obviously the uh, big missing part is having uh, Pixelate Earth open and available to the public, but we're Getting ready to do that, we're going to launch an uh, ambassador program to get some early mappers in. So if you're interested in something like that, please go check out Explore Pixelate Earth. Once we make sure we have the scaling nailed and the quality nailed, we'll be opening it up to the general public. And again, all those contributions will be available as open data, and you'll be able to export that out as 2D geotiffs into OpenStreetMap, or a wide variety of other things like LAS, PLYs, EPTs for the raw 3D data as well. Uh, and meshes. Uh, but anyways, thanks for listening and hope it looks like an interesting project and it can help out OpenStreetMap.